So the first one, a couple of basin taps to change. The guy who filmed beforehand left the massive washers on. <laughs> Looks awful. This one's got these Bristol ones. A bit taller, a bit sleeker, a bit modern. If that's even a word I'm going to be using today's tools tap set. As always. flexi on and a speed fit 15 to 10 reducer and the other one is 10 mil and a 10 mil and a tap connector up top that's where it converts hmm turn the water off obviously use the crow's foot and a long extension take that out of the way now and we'll just do it off the end. I'll we'll switch to uh, the back nut spanner. The old taps had brass nuts on, so I'll save them because they are better than the plastic. You can get a bit more. Leverage on them a bit, get them a bit tighter. Always handy to keep. I would put them on the new one, but the new one's also got brass. There's a washer on these, you can silicone them, but the hole's quite tight in this basin, so it should be fine like that. And from underneath, you've got another washer. So you're not tightening metal against the pottery. That's going to go that way around, spun up. flexi on this because I don't know if you can see on the picture video even half the rubber has gone it's just all broken away it must have been over tightened when it was put in so just swap them both that didn't go to plan take that off there because it's easier to whip it off and mess around with spanners around the back shove that speed fit back on Hopefully I've got one in the van to do the same on the other side. One done. So unfortunately I don't have a speed fit version of this. I'm going to have to fix this all the... It's only one fitting, but uh, could just could have just changed the um, fibre washer in here, but I'm not a fan of fibre washers at all. I know you can get rubbers and I know you tell me, but I always forget. <laughs> I always write the install date on the instructions. In case customer lose a receipt, even though I think I still need the receipt, but if they ever need to uh, use that guarantee. So to keep the heat away from the pottery and the plastic waste, just put a screwdriver in there and bend it forward. Don't hate me soldering. I press fit, anchor, banker. <laughs> So this is what we just swapped over, this TRV, because 
customer said even when this is shut off it wouldn't the radiator would still get hot so let's have a look it looks pretty close to me but we'll blow through it so that's see. supposed to be fully closed it's obviously just failed on a combi system was a bit of a pig because there's no movement in the pipe what's is that cold or wet <laughs> cold um yeah swapped it over forgot to record if it happens next so in regards to this set they do do the deep monoblock sockets to get onto kitchen set taps but it is extra it's roughly about 12 pounds i thought i'd show you we've got this uh back to your to service there's a platinum it's a platinum same difference Gonna undo this uh, burner off and the fan. Same as the uh, 600 800 range, you got your four nuts here. Disconnect the rectification, earth and spark. Your fan, you've got your power in and your speed settings. You've got a little gas tube there and undo the gas valve connection. But when you pull this out, make sure you don't lose the injector. show you is I'm going to be using the Karcher portable pressure washer. You couldn't do your car in this, it's not that strong but it's going to be ideal for doing inside heat exchangers like this. And once we've washed all that out, just clean out the condensate trap because that's where all that shit's going to end up. Got a nice long reach hose on it anyway. But you can't keep it plugged in on charge and use it, it won't let you. Might not look any different to you, but it's definitely cleaned it all off. Try not to soak the back po backboard and obviously any fittings. That's why I put my towel down under here. And when you put it back together, don't forget to put that in. So I'll charge it a minute, but there's your charging point. And you've got your water tank here. Comes off. Drop the handle down like that. It's just your insides. I don't know actually know whether that fits in there or not. I've just been leaving it out. It's 100 quid this on uh, the Karcher website at the minute. It's a lot of money, I suppose, but I think it makes the job easier. And the customer will feel like they've had value for money when you're servicing the boiler because it's actually here and see something being cleaned out. It does feel under there. <laughs> I'll learn something new every day. So this is one to watch out for. No power at the boiler. A few spares to the boiler is on. Oh, if this used to be in there in cupboard, this will have been wired onto the existing immersion heater power. So normally, there'll be a switch downstairs. Not much of a tip, but if you got called out to property, my boiler's not coming on. They might have switched off the switch downstairs, not knowing what it did, new owners, etc. So if you get any tools out, messing around testing, when you're going to get nothing, no voltage up here anyway. 